All right, let's go crude. All right, we the, the really nice setup we had here. So if the first thing order of business, guys and gals, remember is that we want to look at our trend filter. Our trend filter is built into our black template. You can work on your own charts or you can view them in the live room here on crude and gold. The trend filter is down. When the trend filter is down, we want to look to sell retracements. So trend filter is down. What we want to do, our methodology is this. We have these solid lines, which are volume profile. Solid green is LVA. Solid blue is the control point. Most volume is traded. And solid red, which is a high value area. Unlike most market profile traders, we're a little bit different because my methodology is very proprietary, very different than a lot of books you read about market profile. A lot of traders buy low value and sell high value. I do things differently. If, I, if I'm trend down, I never buy low value. So when I'm trending down, here's low value, right here, volume profile. I'm not trying to buy low value. I want to break below low value, and I want to retest, and I want to get short. There's your break. This is the ABC pattern or the 1, 2, 3 pattern. You're going to see hundreds and thousands of trades up over the same setup that's been working since 1985 continues to work with my profiles <clears throat> so yesterday like i said on gold it was a 1600 dollar trade with 130 dollar risk same setup you break through low value you retest low value it stopped almost to the tick yesterday on gold the same exact setup like this and then it tanked it's the same situation i want to break through low value i want to retest low value and then i want to go short now here's the first test of low value. This is going to be your best trade break retest on the first one because you're catching all the wrongly positioned traders. But what's important to understand is this chart next to you also. This chart next to you is my Fibonacci chart and also my developing profile. If you notice on this on the second test trade right here, the stacked area that hit low value area again, consequently at the same time I got the fib dots that fired. What you're going to find is I did, like I said, a video, about an hour video that Gerald recorded on several markets, several trades that's ticking in the market. And the same situation happened over and over again in a lot of markets where I broke low value, retested low value. At the same time, my fib dots fired on my J signal chart. So we use these two charts to set the trade up. These are not our execution chart. This market profile chart has volume and price. Here's my volume profile. Volume profiles in the solid lines, LVA, control point blue, HVA red. My price profiles in the dotted lines, HVA red, green is LVA. If you notice on this second test, I had confluence. They're within a couple ticks of each other. So second test trades of an area with a stack level are great trades to take when you're stacked. Now, what you can do, like I said, it's in the PDF under daytradingthefutures.com. We always use market delta to pop us in the trades, right, on a break retest. We let these two charts set it up, and then we get market delta to pop us in. If you test market profile on the second trade, what I like to do, and I put this in the PDF under daytradingthefutures.com under trading tips, I like the first red, red bar reversal after the Fibonacci prints. The first red bar reversal is there because I, I'm, I'm, this is my second test of the area here of LVA in a downtrend. So instead of waiting for market delta, I'm going to try to get a real small stop because I know second test areas are more dangerous than break retest first areas. So what you can do is you can get in the first red bar reversal, place your stop two ticks above that swing high, and that's your entry on second test trade. So feel free to go to daytradingthefutures.com, click the PDF, you'll see this exact setup I put under trading tips at the end of the PDF. First test trade, simply get in with market delta. Second test trade, you can use a small stop because I'm trying to get a $60 stop, $70 stop. So the fill was 09 live, it got down to 71. So what I did is it, you got a $400 trade on your hands, potential with $60 risk. $70 risk, depending on slippage. So you get a $70 risk, and you just made 400 bucks per one contract. That's how you trade the market. Okay, so <clears throat> remember, we use these two charts to set the trade up. Use these two charts to set the trade up. 
and we up market delta. Now, what I do have, let me break this down a little bit further for you. Remember, <clears throat> excuse me, I have four profiles that we trade off of. My volume profiles on the black chart, these solid lines, and they'll update with price. They will move with price and they'll lock themselves in. When you broke through low value today, they did not follow price. So when it broke through, it did not follow price. It broke down and LVA locked itself in. These solid lines will lock themselves in. When they lock themselves in, take the first retracement, market delta short, or reversal bar on the second test. Okay? Now, my price profile are static levels. They don't move at all, but they'll update periodically two or three times in the morning session. But the volume profile, it will, not, it will update during the day around two or three times. You'll see these move, but then they'll get away and lock themselves in. And when they lock themselves in, that's when you take trend retracements. This is a very easy trade to take today. Very clear, very easy to see. Now what we do have, we have volume and price here. I have developing profile over here also for stacked areas on my J signal chart. I also included on the black chart my value level. My value will be little red dots and little, right here, little red dots, and little blue dots, little green dots. If you can see, it stopped my market to the exact area yesterday right here. Check this out. This is a high value area sell at 45.14. That was over a $500 trade, risking 130 bucks yesterday. Then what it did, it came down and it broke and retested my control point. So you trade it the same way. Trend was down. Look at my little blue control point. Let it break, let it retest, and then it fell pretty hard into the close. See right there. So not only do I have my volume and price profile in here, I got my longer term profiles. It stopped. That area yesterday, we're in a hard downtrend. That was a sell, and it was a huge hit in the market. Came down the control point as a target, bounced up to the other control point, volume, came down, broke retest and control, another trade. So I have all the profiles right in front of you on this chart that you want. Then I got my J signal over here to help you out, and then we got market delta pulling in the trade. It's a beautiful combination.